Now that our organization is provisioned, let's go back to the wizard and move on to configuring access routing. This allows you to configure access to your Apogee endpoint either internally or externally. Internal limits access to the Apogee endpoint to VMs in your GCP project. This is the internal load balancer. External allows access to your APIs over the public internet through the configuration of a global load balancer with a public static IP address. Let's select external. Now you have options to configure the host name. If you have access to a DNS registry and have an existing domain, you can enter your own host name and then create a new DNS record pointing to the static IP address. If you don't, you can use a wildcard DNS service like nip.io, which automatically creates a host name based on the external IP address of the GLV. With this option, Google will automatically provision and manage the SSL certificates for the GLV. Next, I'll select a subnetwork, choosing default for my reason, and click Set Access. This will take a few minutes to complete, and you can see the components that are being created in the wizard. Once that completes, we can continue. Note that even after configuring external access, it will take about 5 to 10 minutes for the Google Managed Certificates to be propagated to the GLB. Now we can test our end-to-end -end connectivity. Great, we got a Hello Guest response from the Hello World proxy that was provisioned by Apogee to test our end-to-end -end setup. Now we can go back to the Apogee console and begin building our own proxies.